So we are live on Facebook. How are you all doing? Just drop in the chat box where you're joining us from. Sorry for the break in transmission. Our boss lady, Rita, is already here. The boss, how are you? Boss, are you there? So, if you're on Facebook, drop in the chat box where you're joining from. I can see some of us on Facebook, on Zoom, drop in the chat box where you are joining from. Apo, tell us your name because it's about your name. You guys see you're from Kenya. What's the name? Uh, I can see Tina from Tina from Benue, Lagos, Ajo Four. Tina again. You guys, sisters, allow allow me to switch my network. Like this one is breaking. How are you, ma? I'm fine. Hello, class. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm back. I am back. This network will not stop us. How are you guys doing today? See some of us already bubbling on Facebook. My leg, oh my life, my leg. From worry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kingsley from a boy. Uncle Yashat from where? So, welcome everyone, welcome. Grace from Lagos, welcome. The day of four. I know your location, Makiliki. You got the jungle squad. How are you? Ijoma, good. Ubi, Kechuku, how are you all doing today? Judith from whom I am. Welcome. Brian from you. Welcome. 
Rita from Abakiliki. How are you? So you are in Abakiliki, Rita. How are you today? Abigail. Okay. Abigail from Ghana. Welcome. So we'll get started, everyone. That's our time. Our boss lady, how are you today? Are you there? Oh, God, God. From Patakos, Ngozi from Lagos, Lydia from Lagos. Yeah, drop in the chat box where you are joining from. If you are watching the replay of this video, hashtag uh, replay later on. If you're watching the, uh, the live, you're watching live now, hashtag live. Hashtag live. Drop in the chat box, success leaves clue. Success leaves clue, you no? Know? So drop that in the chat box. Anywhere you want to go, look for people who are already there. That's what you need to do. Look for people who are already there and follow what they are doing. So that's why we set up a program like this to help you meet with people who are already there. Learn from their mistakes. Yes? Learn from their their success stories, learn from their mistakes, learn from their challenges. Um, if it's so be, it's up to you. Uh, so learn from their mistakes. Our boss, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you today? We can see you, the video. Oh. Okay. Yeah, hello, Charles. Yeah. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. I'm doing good. <laughs> Many people are looking for you now. They've seen you. <laughs> so good to good to see you live through uh, uh, Zoom because you know with technology today we can meet anywhere, anywhere, anytime. Yes. So, Guys, we want to get started. Let me introduce our guest. Uh, our guest is, uh, is this Rita Akubuizi, the graduate of the University of Lagos. She's a nutritionist. She's happy and healthy woman, the wife and the mother of five, a great asset to her husband and a su supportive mother. She derives joy in people's progress, which is one part of our business I love so much. She's full of life and living her dreams. She has a network of over 200,000 people. Star director with Longridge. Okay. Oh, we are, you, you are welcome. Thank you, Mr. Charles. You're welcome. Uh, so many people have been, when I posted the flyer, I said, wow, we've not seen the star director. <laughs> Some of them said, we've not seen the star director. What happened? Where is she? Uh, so they are excited that we have a star director like you and with a network of over 200 persons. So 200,000 people. So now tell us your bank, tell us about you how you came on board network marketing. Share with us. Okay. Um, Eddie Charles, thank you so much for this opportunity. I want to first take in a special way. We are doing great. You and your beautiful wife. Um, thank you, Mom. What you are doing actually is taking network marketing to another level. You are actually not a pro that we're supposed to be, you know? So I really appreciate your work. First of all, before I start, I want to thank God for yeah. everything because without God, honestly, we cannot achieve anything. Even the yeah. Bible said it, that it's not of he that run it and win it, but of he that show it mercy. So for us to be doing well is by his grace. So we return it all to God. Um, I want to use the opportunity to appreciate all the star directors of Longreach International, by the way. 
because that PV, 1.5 million PV, is not a joke. Is not a joke for anybody that is about to start long reach and you give her that figure, she'll be like, you yeah, where do I start? But people are achieving it and I appreciate everybody. I want to appreciate all the leaders. There are more seven leaders that are amazing. Then all the future star directors of Long Reach, because star director is actually the goal of Long Reach. So all the future star directors from Pre Diamond to Diamond 7, I appreciate everybody. Then I want to appreciate all the viewers, wherever you are watching me from, I want to thank you for your time, okay? For bringing our time to, to hear us, to see what we have to offer. I appreciate you and your time. And I, I hope that this time will not be in vain. If you've not joined after this program, you will be motivated to at least know that it's not ordinary, extraordinary thing, it's something anybody can do. Um, okay, having said that, I want to, I want to start by telling us how I come about network marketing. Yeah. Network marketing. I actually joined this industry like 12 years ago, 2008, to be precise. That was wow. when I joined network marketing. And before then, I, I, can, I will tell you that I've never worked anywhere. I used to be a housewife. My husband provides everything. In fact, I have an amazing husband that does virtually everything for me. So I don't, I've never, nobody has even approached me on network marketing. So I don't know what it's all about. I only know the literal meaning of it. And so on that fateful day, you know, I had my baby, my last baby, 2005. Then, pre to 2008, I was out to look out for something to do. I said, okay, it's time to look for work. And honestly, to be honest with you, that time, I honestly needed a job because I needed money. I don't have money at all. And um, I've started to see responsibility. No. So I needed something to be giving me money. I now offer, I had offer for jobs, different places. Even bank, I will have a friend in the banking industry then, Citizen Bank, then. So I got a, an offer to work in the bank. But because of my baby and my family, you know, my home force, I cannot give out all the time to work. My baby was still too small. So I needed a job that can give me time. I needed something I'll be doing to be making money. And at the same time, I can have time. I can have time for my family. So I have a friend, a friend that I approached. She's work, she works with the Labor State Ministry of Education. So she agreed to help me out with the job to connect me, you know. So on that first full day that I went to meet her, this is my journey. The first day I, I, I see that I come across network marketing. So I met her that day. She... When I got to her office, I found out that she, she's not a seat. She was not a seat, so she had gone for seminar. Still is in the same, um, in, in the, the same uh, ministry. So I waited. When she came back, she was she, she now started telling me that there are some people. These people that came all the way from Ghana, they brought network marketing. You know that we registered with two thousand five. And she was just telling me casually, not actually marketing me anyway. She was just telling me what the seminar was all about, you know. So I was listening, and when she finished, she told me you registered in 2005, that they said then you buy their product at 5,000 naira. I was like, what? When she first said 2,500, it was making sense. Then when she said at 5,000 naira, hey, um, I was, that, that money sounded like, um, at five million to me because I don't have a time. 2005, okay. At 5,000, no way. <laughs> so when she finished telling me the whole gist, we thought about why I came and I left. Um, but because I was 
looking for something to do, something that can be giving me money. When I got home, I honestly found it, <laughs> have a retake of what she said. And I said, okay, baby, how do I raise that 5,000 Naira? It wasn't easy that time. I don't even have that money in my account. That 5,000 Naira, that was a big money, you know? So later what I did, after one week, two weeks, hello, Charles. Okay, after one week, two weeks, um, I did not hear from her. I have to call her back. What of that, those people that came from Ghana? How do, how do are you doing, are you, are, do you want to know, know more about what they're doing? Do you want to do it? So she was excited, they said, whoa, she has got the one person. <laughs> I say, not that, me, I, I, when you, one thing with me is when you, when opportunity is being presented to me, I don't say no. I look at it and I will study it and make sure it's, it's something, is this something I would like to do? Is this something I'm interested in? I don't say no outright, like some, some of us, you know, some people, when you see that, oh, this is not my thing, I don't do, no, I listen. So what I did was I said, okay, how do we meet so that I can know more? How do we meet those people? I want to know what they're doing. Since you come up with a lot, lot of testimonies, so, what did I do? She now invited me that, that they said they're doing seminars one way. That was how I attended my first seminar ever in Ajawu Estates one Saturday. So I now followed that to, to that place. When I got there, the woman that, um, that did the seminar, that anchored the seminar, she was giving us a whole lot of testimonies, how she traveled to South Africa, how she doesn't have money, these things. Deep inside me, the only thing I was saying, is, if this thing this man is saying is actually true, I will achieve it. I will do it. Unless she's telling us lies, but for the fact she's saying the truth, I want to know how it works. That was how I started. <laughs> that was how I started. Wow. So after the whole thing I met the woman, I said, please, how do I join? She told me. She told me. So I fill the form. I don't have that at 5,000 Naira to join. And when I presented the case to my husband, because we are all novice, I don't know. My husband doesn't know. She said, hey, are you sure it's not 419? Are you sure it's not this? Are you sure it's not that? I said that I went for training and I heard the whole gist. So my husband was saying, analyzing the issue. But me, I was put, I want to do it. Then for the fact they said, um, if you join, if you pay it at 5,000, you get the products. Their products were all drugs. Me, I'm not a doctor. But I know, I want to study and know what the product does and know how I will go about the business. That was high certain. I introduced, they say introduced therapy, I introduced my friends. We went for training. We went for their training and they were all interested. And that was how the whole thing started. Before my husband should give me that money, I had to borrow the money from another person to start. So later, my husband bought the money. So I now gave the person that I borrowed the money. And I moved forward. And I can assure you that that's my first network. I did not do badly at all. I did not do bad. What I did was I followed systematically. I was asking questions. I want to know. In fact, from the what is their own that time was SV. So my first question: What is this SV? 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 They told me SV is the sales value. I said okay. I was asking questions. Every in fact, the woman looked at me and I said, "You don't look like someone that talks. You don't look like someone that can do networking." Then every day she used me to do seminar because I ask questions. I I make sure I bring my people because I have so many of them that were looking for a job that time, not only me. <laughs> so, so many housewives, they all are like, I say, we have gotten something that we can do to keep ourselves busy. And we still have time for our families. And then I say, what is that? I don't even tell them it's networking. Because I don't even know what it's. I don't tell them it's a, we're going for one workshop some way. The sound of that <laughs> workshop, <laughs> workshop. <laughs> In good day, you know, I teach them. I say, hey, we workshop. I say, yes, workshop. workshop. 
Fantastic. Yes, you now wait for the workshop in Nigeria. We say I picked all of them. In fact, if you see me going for training, I used to go with three, four people every time I'm going. I don't get it. <laughs> so, I, because I'm not really explaining every, anything to anybody, everybody wanted to know what the workshop is all about. I say, is that about making money? Me, I need money. But I say, I beg, if there's money, they were going. That was how we started. And to God be the glory, they were, they were all interested and we started. And within, this, within six months, I joined that business, I qualified for their car. Wow. And that's what actually happened was within, within one year, the minute I got that car, I left the in, I left that company. I don't the the reason was best known to me, not the company bets. The things that transpired then, I left because me I'm a kind of um, reserve person, would drop it. I don't I'm, I don't have I don't want trouble. I don't want anything that we that would piss me off. So any uh, environment I'm working and I'm more comfortable and more happy, honestly, I'm just sweet. So you know, as much as I got there, I qualified for their car, I left. So wow. fast forward to 2011. Okay, before then, you know, it was in that, in that business that I met my upline now, Madam Titi Echimawa. Actually, okay. Madam Titi was in the same business. With you, then? Yes, then. Although she was my upline, they were in the same with the under the same upline. So okay. when I met Madam Titi, I just love her. The way she did not that time they were just big women, big, let's say big guys in the industry. They've gone far. Me, I was, I was still a baby. That was my first network ever. Okay. So the way she was doing the business, where she was that even when I left, I met her one time, where she was still coordinating and doing other side. I was amazed. I look at her, I say, I would like to work with you one day. She laughed. So let's say Abby. So we never met again. I left. So when she, when I want to talk about when Long Beach Night came, that was 2011, ending of 2011. So she called me that day. But when she called me, before I saw that call to Madame Titi, I was, still, I, I was happy, but I don't know why she was calling me anyway. So I picked the call. She said there's something that she would have loved me to come to Keja to see. I said, is it, some, is it not something you can tell me on phone? They trust my madam now. She tell me, I beg, I don't mean to, I don't understand. So you better hear what it is by yourself. <laughs> I said, okay. So, but because I had something to do in Ikeja that day, I said, okay, I will come. When I came, I met her. They were in one hotel. So the MD then, Mr. Johnny Chen was there as well. And uh, about one or two people that she brought. So they, were, they started explaining to me about the piece, about Johnny was explaining anyway. Madam Titi doesn't have anything to explain because the business just came. Okay. So okay. Mr. That was Johnny was. Level. Sorry, My, Mr. Johnny was, oh, was not telling us about business. But all the things he was saying, I can't really pick out anything because it was actually different from where I was coming from. What I did before, the plan was different. So I don't understand anything. But the thing is that when I entered there, they were about doing demo for part, for sanitary part. So I watched him do that demo. It was so exciting. I was looking at the pad and I said, are you sure? After doing the demo, you explained the sanitary pad, the longest sanitary pad. To be honest, I was actually looking for alternative to what I was using then. And after the demo, I said, can you give me the pad, the sanitary pad? But I didn't give me one. <laughs> so I left. When he gave me one, I was I, I said thank you. I left after the whole stuff because I don't understand it. I understood the entry level. They have three entry levels. You know all those jazz they were saying that time. The only thing I grabbed that day was that demo, the sanitary part demo. So when I left, 
Print on 2012. I think Johnny left as well and came back. So 2012, January. She now called me that I should raise. I mean, before then, I've used the pad. When I used the pad, the pad was even better. When you use it, damn, that demo I was seeing that day. The comfortability alone, I was amazed. I fell in love with the sanitary pad. That was my why of Johnny Longwich, that product. That singular product made me to say, I must do this business. Even if I don't get people, I will use the product. And everyone I know must use the sanitary pad, Longwich sanitary pad. It's so amazing. So when I use the pad, I love it. Do you know that I've not registered long wish, but I've started net, I've started marketing the patch. Anybody I say, say this there's one patch, one sanitary <laughs> patch that won't work in a box or more. You need to use the patch. So that was how I started. Even before I finally signed on, when I met Madame Titi that January, she told me you, you need to sign on. So I now told her that um I want to do VIP from what you say, but I don't have money for saver anyway. <laughs> so my, I have big eyes. I want to VIP. I don't have saver money. You can imagine that. Okay, but how do I even have to sign up anyway? So she said, you have to start small. I said, beautiful. She really, she really assisted me, I won't lie you. So she now said, okay, that day, but before then I've already spoken to one of my friends in, one of my friends in Oweri, I told her about the sanitary patch and this company. She said she's in. I spoke again to one of my friends in Enugu. I told her about the sanitary patch and she said this in. One thing with me is that anything I like, any, once I'm passionate about anything, my dear, whoever you are, you will like that thing. But because, because the way I will be promoting the thing, you will think that I'm the one that manufactured it. <laughs> so because I fell in love with their sanitary patch, and actually the pad was good. I've never seen, since I, I, I was 13, I started using sanitary napkin. I've never seen sanitary napkin that gave me such comfort the way long with sanitary napkin gave me. The comfortability alone was what drove me. So I got people, so when I went back to my life, I told her that I've gotten some people that even want to register. He said, what? I should start. So I started. That was how I started Long Reach 2012. And when we started Long Reach, <laughs> we don't know anything. That was the major challenge that we had. Wow. We have, we have best trainers in China, but they don't understand English. So everything that we did, we learned it ourselves. We started from the training, we don't even know it was Johnny. It was Johnny that was doing the training, as in the MD was training us. He too, he, he was still learning. In fact, everybody was practically learning that time. But because we had so, we were so passionate about the products, we have to forge ahead. We have to tell people about the products. And by the way, what they have is the consumable products. These are the things that you know you can use on your own. Even without joining the business, even without doing the business, you can use the products. So anybody I was talking to that time, I was telling the person that it's not a must you join the business. You can use the product, but joining the business is absolutely amazing because you are not using a dime to join. You don't need money to join. All you need to do is to feed from and get the products. That is one amazing thing about long reach marketing plan. Wow. That is one amazing thing about long reach marketing plan. You don't have to look for money to join. Just buy the product. Use it. Buy what you can use. You see, they have amazing products. They have products that almost everybody needs. Even without you need the business, you can go to grocery and still get the products. So what is stopping you from joining? That time we don't know the kind of money that is in language. I won't lie. <laughs>
That's <laughs> what I got those. I like the way you the way you made that statement, Luke Summer. <laughs> That's why we don't even know what is the, the, the money that is in luggage. No, we don't understand it at all. We don't know. <laughs> okay. We are doing the we are doing it because of the passion we have for the products. Honestly. Yeah. So the first my first bonus in luggage was nothing to write home about. In fact, I don't even look at the bonus. I practically forgot that they're paying bonus because. The bonus was too small, but I was getting people to get products, buy the products. You can imagine I signed up as a saver. That time that we joined, we have only three entry levels. We have the saver, we have the gold, and we have the VIP. There was nothing like um, Q saver then, nothing like platinum, nothing like um, starter combo. Nothing like all these combos that just came, you know, that luggage is ever dynamic. They are bringing in so so, they are introducing more things that will make the business interesting every here and there. But when we started, it wasn't like that. So I joined a saver and I knew I had mind to do VIP. So what do I do? The product was amazing. I was selling the product. I sold it within one month, less than two months, I was able to become VIP. Because I don't have money. So, you know, once you see uh, in this life, you can achieve anything that you want to achieve once you set your mind to it. So, because mm. I set my mind in becoming a VIP, I worked towards that. Whatever I was doing then, I wanted to be a VIP. And funny enough, I don't know the functions of VIP, I don't know the benefits. So. But because it's the highest level, and the way the name sounds, VIP, I fell in love. I wanted to be VIP. So because anything that is worth doing is worth doing well. Anything you want to do, put in your best to achieve it. That is one thing in life. So when I become a VIP, I was I, I became so happy. I now relax. And I know that the only thing I'm doing now is to get people to join my network. And I went all the way. I went all the way. Why? Wow. Because I love the products. I love the products. So what you were doing, you were marketing the products. You were, yes, that was I, what I was marketing with. the products. You even started marketing the products before you registered. Exactly. I started marketing the products, advertising the products before I even joined, before I even registered. So there is no excuse for those who are complaining of money. No, you don't need to have excuse. Because these are the things that we need every day. These are the products that people need every blessed day. And I was getting mm. people to buy the products and they were even interested in registering. Because and we have a lot of we have a lot of women who are facing issues, uh menstrual issues and uh hormonal so issues. And so we have a lot of women that needs our sanitary napkin, that are facing a lot of issues that our sanitary napkin can help them with. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Many women, so in fact, just... almost all the women need the sanitary napkin. Every woman yes. need our sanitary napkin. I'm not lying. I'm not marketing. I'm telling you the truth because I'm a woman. <laughs> I use it. <laughs> I use it so I know the importance of that sanitary napkin. I even, you know, when I used it, when I started using the panty lining, I start having testimonies. Personally, the, the what drove me into Long Reach was my own personal testimony. Not even people's testimony. I use the products. You know, not like I've I've seen someone that has been in business for in Long Reach for like some months. A lady, I still tell me that she has not even she has not started using the sanitary napkin. I said, what? What are you using? So she has not bought it yet. See, be the product of your product. Use the product. If you use the product, you, you have more, you have the mind. You have the, you have more, you don't have any excuse. You have more to talk about the product. When we started, we were doing the experiment when we started. You know, now so many people entered into the business. When we started, 
We use it and we get the and get the story ourselves. There are so wow. many things that the product does. You'll be using the language product for one thing, he's working for another thing. So it's people that use the product that tell you the stories because we can't go to China and get the Chinese to tell us the testimony. That's that's speaking Chinese. So we don't know anything. Even though we complain that we needed trainers, they told us that they have amazing trainers there in Long Beach. They, 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 they've not gotten somebody that understands English very well that will come and <laughs> Wow. Even flyers. So, how, so how did you cope? How did you cope during the beginning time when you don't even understand the business? Ah. We had to, we, uh, you know, the manager then, the, our MD understands English. So sometimes we ask him questions, he will write it, he will, he will use email as, you know, that's not, once they are talking to him, he's, on, he's online, he will type in, he's typing it in Chinese, he's asking the question to somebody again that we ask him, he will not tell us. So from there we are learning. <laughs> so we ask questions every then and then, okay? That was how mm. we grew in the business. I can give you a scenario when, you know, when we started pushing the business, there was a time um, I noticed, okay, that time I've, I've come up small. I'm, I was already in Diamond 4. And I met with, and I checked my bonuses. That time the bonus has started making sense more, small. So, and I looked at my bonus, I noticed that they were not paying me leadership bonus. You know, the what we are pushing was there was nothing like, um authorship you know there are no authorship is not compulsory we all know that in language but yeah. it's needful there's need for you to do authorship okay that's particularly so because authorship was not compulsory we don't understand nobody taught us so i noticed i was not being paid leadership bonus for like three weeks i was seeing zero i will see the bonuses performance bonus i will see development i will see leadership zero we tell, I will see them for three consecutive weeks. And now, you know, we got it. I, I used to go to Keja all the time, the head of your general crew office, and Madam Titi as well. And I'm there, Madam Titi. I told her that I don't know why they're not paying me leadership bonus. What is this leadership bonus all about? So that was when <laughs> Madam Titi said, Are you sure they're paying her to? I said, I wouldn't know. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go and ask the MD. We rushed up and met Mr. Johnny Shen. So when we met Mr. Johnny Shen, we now asked him, why are we not being paid this bonus, leadership bonus? Immediately he typed. When he typed, they responded. He now told us, okay, don't, don't worry, don't worry, I will find out why they, why they were not paid leadership bonus. So he now told us that we are not doing our party PV. And we are already diamond four. But I think it was only diamond six then or diamond seven. So we don't really understand. So that was when he now explained to us that if you're not doing 30 PB, you'll be losing leadership bonus and you'll be losing your incentives. You can imagine after hearing that there's nobody that comes after us that will not educate on that. So that was how the information we are circulating now. So we now start telling people, once you're diamond three and above, you need to do your 30 PV to avoid losing your leadership bonus and language. So these are some of the things. I, I, I assure you, we pay the price. So many things. Yeah. We pay the price, yes, in, this, in the beginning. But I still thank God because we never give up. We That's never true. give up. You see, so is it? it your success story is what your you, you, if if you guys did not things started yes. just started when Long Reach came, we will not be where we are today. Your success stories are what is helping us today. Now tell us, can you tell us how how what were what were the steps? Just break it down. What were the steps you took to get to star directors? Because many people want to get to star directors. Some of them are stuck. Some of them are grinding, they are not seeing results yet. What are the steps you took to get here? Okay, you see, Charles, the, the greatest enemy of success is laziness. Do you get it? 
the greatest Maybe. enemy of success is what? Laziness. There are some people that don't want to do nothing and they want to gain something. They want to make money without working. <laughs> they want to make all the money without doing the work. <laughs> Honestly, it's only in the that you, you first meet success before you see work. In reality, you must work to get success. That is it. You must work to do what? To get success. So, some people will meet me and be like, when you are telling them about the business, and you mention when you started, they will be like, oh, it's the people that started it first. No wonder. Oh, because you started it first. That is big lie. It's not because you started it first that you, you are where you are today. Some people started years after true, we started. And that, as you, how long have you been in business? Are you not an um, um, SD2? Are you not SD2? <laughs> so that is the thing. Some people, see, when I have, let me give you an instance of how I get my first car in Long Beach. I qualified for that first car that year, that 2012 that we started that Long Beach. It was only me and Madame Titi that qualified for the first car award ever in Long Beach. I did not qualify that car because I was sleepy or because I registered first. No. I qualified that car because I put see, I wanted to qualify the car. See, if you want to achieve anything, you can achieve it. Want to say your mind to it. How do I qualify for the car? When when we started, they've already started the promo. The, the car promo started that October that Johnny came to Lagos, came to Nigeria. Then I started the business that 2012. But the car promo has mm. stayed running. Towards of September, I've already generated PVs. Okay? I had 60, almost 62,000 PV, 60 something thousand PV. <laughs> From January to September, at least I tried because it wasn't easy. Yeah. It wasn't easy. That was the time when you said you will say Kaljun to somebody. Then after two days, they will bring it back to you and tell you that they wrote snake, they wrote tortoise, and the pastor said you should not drink it. And you'll be explaining, trying to make the person understand that these are not what the thing is all about, that they just wrote it, you know? So there's a whole lot of things. So when we finally, when I, when we got to September, towards September, I found out that I was close, that there's no, it's what, the promo was supposed to end October. How do I make out, make up almost close to 2,000 PV, 18,000 PV or less than that? I don't know. But I wanted to qualify that car. You know what I did? I went all the way. I went all the way. I first, when John, when the MD called me that, Madam, we are closed, but let's um, just try, let's see how, even the MD did not know that I qualified for that car. So what happened, what actually happened? I have a done line that I have a done line I got that time that wanted to be diamond four by all means, so that she can become a stockist. So she has many connections here and there. What do I do? Because I know I don't have much time. I decided to work with her, hundred percent. To work with her. So what I did was. Anywhere she has contacts, I will go and present seminar for her. There was a day, two weeks before the, the, the qualification of that card, the expiration, the expiration of that promo, October. There was a day I, I had seminar in Omori. From Omori, I came back to Onicha, I had seminar. I finished Onicha. I, I should have another seminar the next day in Lagos. I uh -huh. entered the post bus. 5.30 a.m., first bus, GUO. I got to, when I was on the road, the woman was calling me. Madam, are you going to have that seminar in Ikorodu? What I mean, Ikeja, so you say I will stop and just enter. 
how that, that's not supposed to be the Korodu. So I, I did which was calling me. Can you make it? Those people, they've already got that day. I said, don't worry, I'm coming. I, I might be there before 12, by his grace. So I, <laughs> I was even driving the vehicle with the driver. My mind was <laughs> <too> fast. <laughs> so we got to, thank God we don't even stop to eat anything. We got to Lagos. We got to Lagos exactly 12, five minutes past 12. But before I got to Lagos, I've already told the woman to come to a general office in Ikeja, Long Beach office, and wait for me. So once I get down, once I get to Ikeja, we now proceed from there. Even the travel bag I used to come back, I left it in the head office. We entered the bus. Straight to Koro. Uh, wow. Okay. The network is acting up. Hey there. <laughs> um so we had that seminar. That, se that day, I raised almost close to 9,000 or 10,000 PV. Added to the PV I was looking for. From there, I had another seminar in Oshobo the next day. I never, I did not rest. You know why? Because I needed to, I have my mind. I want to get that car. I said, God, just help out. I moved to Oshobo for that seminar. That Oshobo seminar, we did it for women in agriculture. If you see those women, we think they don't have money. All of them tie money in their wrapper like this. <laughs> there were many. So they call themselves women in agriculture. If you see them, we don't know they have 1,000. After that yeah. seminar, we had more than 20 people sign up to Longridge. Hmm. And before I left Oshobo the next day, I've already qualified for that car. Even now, wow. my landline that went with me for that, and she not know I was, I was trying by all means to qualify for that car. So anything, anything he said, I is okay when. Anyway, he said we're going. I'm, I was going. I was ready to go with that. And thank God for my husband. He just say, "Be careful, just go. I will go." So that was how I qualified for that my car. That's why I tell you that the greatest enemy of success is your laziness. Had it been I came back and I say I'm tired. I wouldn't qualify for that car. But mm. I went all the way. I was looking out for that PV, that period. And by his grace, I got it. And the MD called me and I said, more than you qualified for the car. And you've been overqualified. <laughs> because I had more than 80,000 PV for that car. And that was what, how my success story started. In fact, it's good. It is for them because I was so, so happy. I thank God. I said, when I was coming for when I qualified for the first car, it was a struggle. It's the chance. It was a struggle to, to release the car for us. The Long Beach is such a company that they will give you a promo. They will give you an assignment to do. When you get that assignment, you have given them assignments. The assignment you give them is that they must fulfill their promise. And they don't go two ways in doing that. Mm. They must. Mm. For the years I've been in Long Beach, I've never seen a time that somebody qualified for something and it delays. They will do everything possible to clear their own parts. And that is mm. amazing. That's one outstanding thing about the company. When I qualified for the car in October, we did the we did the award that was the first award ever that we got the car and monday that was on a saturday on monday morning on monday morning the the accountants immediately give me a call madam do you want the car or do you want the cash i said sure <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing 
The car, the first car award was 2.4 million. And I say, I quickly said I want the cash. <laughs> I don't even think about it. I said I want the cash. And even though I said I want the cash, honestly, as we are still talking, he transferred the money straight to my account. Then I looked at the phone a lot. I said, eh? They did not even remove anything. They did not remove that. They did not remove anything. That 2.4 was in fact. In fact, that alert stays in my phone for years until they stole that phone. <laughs> because it's a proof. I see go to the bank and they send me that alert. It was, it was so amazing. I was so, so blown off. So when people talk, say, hey, because we started it. No. I know so many people that started the business when we started. And many of them are not doing the business again. Many of them do not have patience to continue. Of course, I lost almost 70% of my downlines of people that wow. started the business with me. Almost 70%. And there was a mistake I made when I was joining Longreach that I won't even encourage anybody. I want to, even my enemy, I want to sign Longreach. I will advise you not to make some mis such mistake. Because when I was joining Longreach, um, when I joined, when I was joining Longreach, I came in with like three of my partners that are that also did networking. Okay, so because I don't have enough money and nobody to direct, I do not put any of my family members. I was like, let me put, um, let me just put these people, at least let them work with me. If I get, if I have, I give them fully free, you know, let's do it together. Unlike now, I was telling someone, I said, if I should, as if I, if I didn't mean I, I joined on which maybe years after the time I joined, I think I would still do better. Because by then I would have done more, I would, have, I, would, I would know more. Okay, but that time, you know what I did? I just I put my three, I put those three people direct under me. I never put any of my family members because I know my children they will not work. So I do not even. It doesn't occur to me that okay, I might still need all those things. And I had one big one leg. One of my friends, she was doing so well. So when I even thought of putting my husband, husband, raising my husband. And my children, I can never go to that leg because my big leg, you know, as a long wish, how you have big leg and small legs. <laughs> so that leg was, in fact, if I'm diamond four, she's diamond four. If I'm five, she's five. So that I never looked at that leg. So I, I added my, my children and my, my husband to the other legs. Okay. So my husband legs, I the same time, not even doing well. Everybody, I, I, that I should market of a long reach. So if I say long, if I say, before you say I will do, I will put it in that leg. The leg refused to move. All the people I put on that leg, nobody's working. <laughs> I suppose not more than 20 people. Some people mm. even registered, they were doing the business at a stage, they would give up. I have networkers on that leg, it's not like they would give up. You know, so the thing continues until I venture into Ghana market. That's what I will tell you later. Until <laughs> I venture into Ghana market, then the leg become mm, the small leg become big leg. But before then, the, the other leg, I, uh, the, that my fat leg, I have leaders. You know what happened to the leg? The what happened? Leg, but one on that leg, when the MD, when the MD wanted to leave the, the first MD of Longwich, when he wanted to leave Longwich, he left with the leader. Yeah. So those, 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 those were the challenging times. I'm telling you, big challenge. I never knew. So when he left, he took the woman to another network and she became number one on that network. So uh, and you know how it is when you have a leader that was pulling pulling weights, you don't look, you don't, you don't, you don't teach her what to do. It's just like when I was doing my identity was not pushing me around, I was doing my thing because I understand what I was doing. 
So the same way I wasn't pushing her, she was in charge of her network. She was in charge of her business. She was doing so well. So when she mm. left, almost everybody gradually, I saw that that leg that used to be very big leg, started to drop it, you know? So that was a very big challenge. And she was almost diamond seven, diamond six to seven. And wow. that was when, that was when I now went back and put my son on that leg. So it was as if I started all over again on that leg. But I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not complaining because it doesn't stop my earning one bit in language. I was still earning my mm. seven figure all the way by the special grace of God. But the thing that, it now delays the ranking of that leg. Because when that leg is supposed to enter seven or start director, is as if the leg started all over again. Mm. That was by the way. So the in, in long wish, um, um, I will say anybody that is joining, because I thank God for this um, family stuff that we introduce later. Register and yeah. register your family members. Use them as the it's foundation. Your if they're not working. <laughs> Even if you are not doing anything for them, just use them as a foundation and put other people under them. It, it will pay yeah, you later true. on. Yes, it will pay later on because if I had done that, I wouldn't have any problem with that leg. But that was by the way. So long wish continues, the business continues like that. And it's so, so amazing. I used to tell everybody, if you have not joined long wish, you're on a wrong thing. I don't know what you're doing if you're not doing long wish because that's the end thing. That's the business of the century of the 21st century. That's the business that is paying. That's the business that is changing lives everywhere. There's so many people yeah. that have not had anything, they are becoming something. They in fact it's mm. turning ordinary people to extraordinary. That is the mm. okay. So wow. Wow, this is this oh, is my story so, so far. You, we are we are we are hearing from someone who started the long reach business, who was in the in the foundation of the long reach business opportunity. And so there's no way we'll not get the history of long reach uh, in Nigeria from you. And um, this, this your success story is one of those success stories that has really helped many people get to where they have because you people started the business. Uh, so the, the, the one, one thing I learned from you is your passion towards the products, your passion towards activity, because I tell people for you to have results in this business, you need to do the activity. You need to fall in love with the process. Imagine you doing back-to-back -back events, back-to-back -back seminar. Uh, you had Seminar for one city, move to the other city, move to another city, move, travel to Lagos again. No, because to have a target to meet. Yes. Now the cap promo is on now. People are waiting. People are wishing to qualify for car. People are saying they are doing the activity. They are talking to people. So people are not joining them. Get it now. But I feel, for me, I feel they are joking because, <laughs> because there is no way if you, if you demonstrate our product that people don't buy into it. Exactly. People fall in love with the product. People buy into the product. And what gives you PV in this business is a, pro, is, a, is a product. So if you have more people buying into our product, there is no way you will not qualify for your first car. It's true. And you know, when you have the first result, the results. So there is no way when you have the first result, people will not be attracted to you. But you have to grind. I see the word grind. I see the word awesome. I see the word uh, ingenuity, grit, resiliency, patience. From the from from your story, so what do you have to tell people now? You know, you, you mentioned your mistakes too in the business, and so I still still see I still see people who are still making that mistake. When you when you advise them with the experience 
you you find you you find in the, in the profession, you advise them. Look, you are working for your family. Don't let anyone deceive you, guys. The reason why we are working is for our family. Yes. What is is teamwork? At the same time, you don't need to abandon your family. Leave a legacy for your family. Yes. And so, make sure you register your family in the business before you start. Some people say, "Ah, but my family cannot work." Mm. Ah, you working before? Is it not because of your family? Can they work before? Mm. Can your children start working? Maybe yes. In, in India, in another country. Matter, you know, because the truth of the matter is that um, once they are into the business. And you are ready to push the business. There's no way you can limit yourself to only three people. You keep on talking to people. It's a I like that. People. You need I like that. We are like it's not about having three people. Yes. <laughs> we are like MTN. Everywhere you go. There's uh, no way you cannot you don't talk about the business to find your carry amounts. So we are practically MTN. You can imagine. Wow. Uh, how do I enter? How do I take the business out of Nigeria? I do not plan to, I do not go to Ghana to talk about long reach. I went to Ghana for another thing. But like I said, we are MTN everywhere you go. So you talk yeah. about business everywhere. Nobody will stop you. And you, long reach has an amazing platform that um, you can register people anywhere in the world. And you still be making your money. So that was one thing I learned. And so you went to Ghana went for Ghana. an occasion and you got a team in Ghana. Yes. When I entered, when I leave this, when I entered Ghana for another thing, I still met the number one in Ghana and I still talk about language. And he came in into the idea and he started the business. That was Mr. Andy. That is Mr. Andy. Andrew Asteroid. Okay. Oh, and Andy is in your network. Andy is my dad line. <laughs> He's my first together. <laughs> ah, wow. Andy so, is so you Andy, Andy is the one who sponsored most of the, the leaders in Ghana, no? Andy is the one that sponsored. Nick, you know Nikos, Nick, Nick, Mr. Yeah, Jimenez. I know Nick. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Nick sponsored other people, all the ASDs, all Mr. Solomon, you know my momentum, Solomon? Solomon, and, yes. All of them. All the, the ASDs. Giants. Yes. Wow. Wow. So, they do, you, you have 200,000 team members. Did you ever, okay. did you ever believe that you have over 200,000 team members. Do you ever believe that one day you have such number of people in your network? No, <laughs> not at all. I never believed <laughs> in that. <laughs> and that's the amazing thing about network marketing. That's the amazing thing about this industry. You know, the company said, talk to three people. And that was what I did. Were you the one who sponsored your 200,000? <laughs> no, it's not possible. <laughs> It's not, it's never possible. So I, I, I can't even remember how many people I sponsored directly, but I know I sponsored quite a number of people. But they have not been up to 1,000, but of 200,000. No. I know I sponsored. Your sponsor, the, the, the people you direct, you personally introduce into this business, I'm sure they are not up to 1,000. I'm telling you, they are not up to 1,000. But you have 200,000 people in your network, over 200,000. Yes, I do. I do leaders, leaders in other network, in, in, in other state, in other countries, I mean. That's, that, that's great, man. That's, that's great. So what are the, what, you've mentioned your challenges now. For, uh, I know we've learned from your challenges because it's part, you almost lost, you, you say you lost 70% of your people and that did not discourage you. You kept on grinding to get to where you are today. Uh, yeah. Can you can you can you now tell us now because of time, what has been your success story so far now? Um, my success stories in Long Reach, I have many. I I I will start telling that. In fact, it's been it's been awesome all the way. Honestly, from the very first day, from the health to wealth. I have so many personally health to wealth. 
Personally, I have testimonies about the product. I have some, I have testimony that blow my mind, that blow even the doctor's, doctor's mind of the one problem I had for over five years. That is allergy, strong allergy, strong allergy. I, I, I want to use this opportunity to appreciate one of my business partners, Mrs. Salakecha. She's been so awesome, okay? Yeah. Now, yeah, she's my partner too. Wow. <laughs> she, because of that allergy, when I'm training, she will be like, when I finish, I say, go and use our product. You, you know, Mama Lakija, we always talk about product as if she's the one that put manufacturing products. And when she tell you about the product, you will, be, you will like to use it. So she kept pushing me. Maybe because I know that the doctor have already told me that I have to manage manage the ailments. You have to manage it. So what did I do? I kept saying, don't worry, I will use, don't worry, I will use. But do you know the problem I had for more than four years? Just one bus of cordyceps and this is our alkaline cup. Took care of it. Took care of it. I, I have my cup here. Yeah. <laughs> you have your cup? Uh, fantastic. Everybody need that cup. Yes. Cup is a this miracle cup. cup. The cup does a whole lot of things. Okay, so that's that's my, that's health number one. Then for wealth, what I've I've gotten a lot. I've traveled. I've traveled and traveled. And I don't know when you are doing long I are doing well. You know, you get a time, you get tired of traveling. You will travel when they call you for another trip. You say, "Am I sure I will go or I will?" And one fantastic thing you collect your money. So I've traveled round, I've, I've traveled around with my husband. Then um, I've gotten cars in long How many cars are, how many cars have you qualified for? I've gotten I've gotten more less than eight cars and three big cars already in long reach. Three SUVs <laughs> and eight cars. Already, yes. So almost every year. Almost every year. Almost every, every year you are getting the car. Yeah, I got car two times. I got the first award. When they are doing the second award, the same year, I still got cars. Okay. Then I've gotten, um, and, I, and you know, Long Beach has a um, scholarship. You know, my son was among the first people that experienced that scholarship in China, in Suzhou University. My first son. Hmm. He's one ah. of the pioneers. He's one of the ambassadors of Long Beach. So when, were, when you're telling people He's about graduated that, now, now. Yes. When you're telling people, they'll be like, are you sure they do all those things? But to me, I'm a testimony. I've witnessed everything about Long So your son can speak Chinese. My son can speak Chinese. This Madrid, <laughs> or whatever you call it, he can write it. He can translate it. In fact, the last wow. time he came to Nigeria last year, he was, he, he was less busy. So he just applied that he wanted to be part-time. He got offers of like five places that called him to come and be. Some people even say they want to let him come and be doing full time. I said full time. Hey, the boy said for what full time? So I, I was amazed. So many people gave him the offer to come because of that Chinese, and he has not finished. See us. Yes, I'm not. So this is this is, this is amazing. So, so all the all the benefits that Long Beach promises, they give it out, guys. They, they give that. it out. They live to their promise. That's one amazing thing. They live to their promise. So if you are still doubting, if you have not joined Long Reach, hey, I don't know what you are doing because even me, I'm still <laughs> stepping in and it's still counting. So I'm still here, full ground. Nothing, no leave, no transfer, no shaking. We're here to for better. So what we do now is to help to train more people to make money. To grow in the business, uh, the business is for you have a lot of leaders. It doesn't your matter when you start. Honestly, mm. it doesn't matter when you start. Some people will be like, "Oh, this business has is saturated. It's everywhere." He, he said, "Many people knows about the products, or because our products work, but many people are not doing the business, and many people mm. are not doing it because many people are afraid. Many people have that fear. Who will I talk to? How do I grow? How do I? But I tell you." One step at a time. I started as I, I started as a saver. That's pre-diamond. So everybody started somewhere. 
You started from pre diamond. You don't look at that big PV when you're starting. Take it one step after the other. You are pre diamond, you want to be diamond one. Beautiful. You are diamond one, you want to grow to diamond two. Take your time, build your network. If you lay a very good foundation in this business, honestly, no matter what happens, you'll be making good money. Initial time is not easy. When you're starting the business, I know. When you're starting long reach, it's not, it's not really easy because you're still trying to build. When you're building something, it's not easy. Everybody knows that. No. You build anything, any business, any whatever building, it is not easy to build. But long reach is a, is a, has a platform that when you finish building, you reap the fruits all your life, even your children and your children's children, especially when you have a good foundation in the business. Mm. Wow. When you have a very strong foundation, you will get them. Um, fantastic. Fantastic. We are so excited to hear from you uh, today, sharing your journey with us and the challenges you had in the business. Many of us have learned from it. Uh, we, from your, we've also seen that like I said, no, no, no activity, no results. Yes. It is the more you do the no activity, way. the more you have the no results. Work, no, pay. <laughs> no work, no pay. No work, no pay. But I love, I love that your method you use. Let's go to. There's a workshop somewhere. Did you use that method in Long Reach also? Yes. Because once <laughs> you mention next work, some people will <laughs> run away. <laughs> You know, you know, that's the idea. It's a business because most time people just go, they will just went off or go off because you just mentioned network, they'll run away. But when you mention that it's a business, it's a product business, uh, start there, guys. For those who are just starting, start there so that you don't have a, a, a lot of explanation to do. Uh -huh. Mention it as a business workshop method. <laughs> uh, people will surely be attracted to your your presentation and business. And yeah, because when people, the, the reason why people don't join our business is because of lack of information, lack of understanding. So exactly. if, they write, if they have the right understanding, they will join. So once they join your seminar and they have a proper understanding, that will give them a bigger picture of what they are missing and they will not join the business. Mm -hmm. But there are certain words also you need to avoid uh, when you are marketing uh, people, well, over time, uh, as they join the business, they will not get on hand that this is how the profession is all about. Many many of them are now regretting that they never knew that this is how network marketing is. Yes, yes, network marketing is the best profession in the world. I have time. Look, I can come yes, out and nobody determine. I, I don't. Nobody is forcing me when to come out, when to do things. I do things on. As that when I want it and when I like it, when I feel like doing it, nobody will force me to go and wear suits and tie. I can wear any clothes I like. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> I can be anywhere and do my presentation. It's not anybody's fault. So, but before you get to this stage, guys, you need to build. You need to start grinding. You need to talk to people about your business. Show them a solution to their problem. Our products are solution. So is there any final word for you to those who just got started and those who have been in the business and they are stuck? Is there any final word for you from, from you? Um, what I would tell people is, um, is this. Network marketing is, um, is for everybody. It's for everybody. Don't say it's not my thing. Don't say it's not my calling. Don't say I cannot do it. Never say never. Give it a trial. Do your best to learn. Do your best to learn, to understand the business. Anything that is worth doing is worth doing well. If you, if you register in a business, try to understand, try to learn the genesis, the ABC of that business. How does it work? Keep asking questions until you get to where you're going to because and um, no matter what you know, no matter how intelligent, how educated you know, when you are, if you've not done net marketing or you've not, if you have not done any particular platform, you won't know how it works. So give it time. Understand the business. 
ask questions. Try to achieve something. No matter what, try to achieve something. They say, um, how do they say it? Result terminates insults. If you are doing right. a particular thing like this, Result our terminates piece, insults. You are, you, are, you are doing, you are hustling, and you have not gotten anything to show for it. There are some people that will still not believe they are making money. So try in one way or the other to at least achieve something, get a result. That was why I put in my best to get that car. Because I know that that TV that remained for me to qualify that car, if I start looking for that money, I don't have it. But money lies in people. And I know that if I get more people to sign up, I will, I will get the PV there that is required and I will qualify. So try to get results. Results terminate insults. Move, ask questions, wow. do your best to get to the next level. It's very important. Thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity you've given to us to hear from you, uh, boss lady. Uh, I, I know many people have been wondering where uh, we first seen this uh, star director, and now uh, she is here sharing her success story with you guys. We have people. What what matter is the result, guys? Go do the activity. Uh, when when you have the results, the results will surely announce you. And people will be drawn to you to do business with you. I uh, really I, well, I appreciate this moment. We appreciate this moment, this time. You know, you're a very busy woman. You're always doing your activity, doing your stuff. And you, 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 you were able to give us the time to hear from you, your journey. Uh, I know many people have gotten so much value. It has value as a result of this uh, interview. Please drop one, one, one in the chat box. Drop that. Show your love. Show your appreciation. Guys, drop that in the chat box. Show your appreciation for our SD, SD Rita, for that, for this wonderful presentation, sharing our journey with us. Drop one, 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 one in the chat box. And so thank you very much. We hope we are gathering when the Titans, Titans are gathering. I will call on you so that everyone will gather. That, that, this one, I want to do one, one day, and every, all the SDs, maybe 30, 20, will all be in one room and share the tips that will help people grow in this business. I have that in the pipeline, so thank you very much for your time. Thank you, SD Charles. God bless you. You are doing very well. Keep it up. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, guys, share this video. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram. Uh, if you are on Instagram and you're not yet my friend, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Our next guest next week is a student, 26 years old, Kagabu. She will be joining us here next week. She's a two-star director. She became star director at the age of 24 as a student, a multi millionaire you got no excuse guys success this clue so join us next week and you'll be with us to share our journey how come a student became a star director when some students are complaining they don't have time let's join us next week and we're going to hear about from her so bye guys bye everyone thank you bye bye thank you thank you viewers and see you at the top